Welcome everyone. In this video I will show you how to create a project. Click on the Projects Module button on the main menu. In this video we will only create a project. Editing an existing project will be in another video. Once in the Projects Module, click on the New button. Two windows will pop up together. The Create New Project window with a window on top of it listing all your contacts. In the upper left of the Contact List screen is a filter that you can apply to the list. By default, it is set to only include Clients because this window autofills the Client field on the next screen. However, if you are creating a project budget for someone who is not a client yet, you may choose Prospect as long as they are in your Contacts database flagged as a prospect. Make sure to flag them as a client later. For the purpose of this video, we're going to pick a client. You can type any part of their name in this white field instead of searching the whole list. Also, you can type a person's name or the company name. Let's use Sony Pictures and Marianne Morrison. As you can see, it plugs all of Marianne's information into the form, including aging history or how much she owes us. You'll also see some default data from your preferences like start and end times, status, and project type. These are all editable. Note the yellow fields. These are required to set up a project. If you would like to associate your project to an existing production, you can do this at the very top of the screen. Also, if you have different internal companies that you are managing with Studio Suite, make sure to choose whichever one is associated with this project. You can specify that all projects for this client require a PO here. Type the project name here. These four buttons here are default times. You can set these times from the main menu setup section. In a forthcoming video on setting up your company, you will learn how to do that. For now, let's choose 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. For event status, let's choose bumpable and project type internal. These menu options are editable. Some fields like episode, language, project status are not required, but you can choose to fill them in if you'd like. If you don't want this project to appear in the calendar yet, you can unclick the box Show in Calendar. The box called Continuous Events specifies that bookings that span multiple days are booked around the clock from beginning to end rather than 9 to 5 each day. A new feature in Studio Suite X is Notifications. In case you want to update people about the project via Twitter, each project is automatically hashtagged with both the project name and record number. As you can see, this could make the hashtag really long. If you are going to edit it, it's best to do it here on the Create Project screen because that's the best way to ensure that all notifications are sent out with the same hashtag. A forthcoming video on notifications will show you how to set up to send notifications via Twitter and SMS. In the People section, you can add anyone that you know will be involved or attached, but not necessarily booked or specifically scheduled on the project, along with their title. These default titles are from your main menu preferences and you can change them here too. Other required fields are the Create Budget and Create Actual checkboxes. You can check one or the other or both. To finish creating this project, click Next. If you missed any required fields, an alert will pop up. Now we are on the Events tab for the project that you just created and you can add items. Look for the forthcoming video on how to add items. You can also visit Chapter 32 on the Projects module in our Studio Suite X searchable PDF manual. Thank you for watching How to Create a Project.